partial win for Governor Roy Cooper today in a legal fight over a new law that takes away some of his powers. Attorneys for Cooper asked a three-judge panel to put that law on hold while his legal challenge goes forward. WRAL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie reports the judges agreed in part, but not completely. The three-judge panel ruled that Governor Cooper is likely to win some parts of his case, but maybe not all of it. A lot depends on how you define executive power. The new law takes away the governor's power to control who sits on boards and commissions that set important policy, like approving multi-million dollar job incentives or planning highway construction. Cooper attorney Jim Phillips said those appointments are one of the ways the governor exercises his executive authority. He said giving them to state lawmakers violates the separation of powers in the state constitution. They seek to make the law and enforce the law. And that is what our framers warned against time and again. It's what the king did and what they were bound and determined not to allow to happen here. Representing Republican lawmakers, attorney Matthew Tilley said the legislature in North Carolina has always been more powerful than the governor and is within its right to take over the boards and commissions it chooses. To the extent that the governor has an ability to set executive policy, it is within the confines and the boundaries set by the General Assembly. Tilly says the new law gives some of Cooper's appointments to other members of the Council of State, like the Commissioner of Agriculture or Insurance. Those officials are part of the executive branch, so Tilly says it doesn't violate the separation of powers. But Cooper's attorney said the Constitution makes it clear who the chief executive is. It is the governor alone, not the General Assembly, not the Medical Society, not the Council of State, who has given the authority and the duty to ensure that the laws are faithfully executed. The judges agreed to block the new law from taking effect for several boards, but allowed it to take effect for two other boards while the case continues. Laura Leslie, WRAL News, Raleigh. Waiting hours in a court.